What are the odds that I'd get the spitting guy, the Lophosaur, right in front of the scene where he's, he's just about to spray his gook on Newman's face? What are the odds? Traitorous Dennis Nedry gets his comeuppance when he encounters the vicious Dilophos Dilophosaurus as he tries to smuggle dinosaur embryos off the island. Their hooting is deceptively goofy, but once they spit on you, you're breakfast. Dan Winston Studio Subset. Raptor in pursuit. That that scene where uh, the kids are hiding in the kitchen and the raptors like walking walking next to their cabinet. That terrified me as a kid. This guy's shotgun always impressed me. As a young child, anytime you see a shotgun with a collapsible stock, it was like, whoa, that guy's so cool. King of the dinosaurs. Oh yeah, classic. Classic scene, that was terrifying too. Yeah man, this is where just before the iconic, this is just after the iconic uh, uh, glass of water shaking. Right? What? Glass of water in the car? I don't know. Something like that. Maybe it was jello? I don't remember. It's been too long. That's cute. These are really cool cards, man. Oh, there's some behind-the-scenes action. That's Spielberg. That Andrew W.K. Cool, man. Yeah, there's Spielberg. Wow. These are cool. Hey, everybody. Let's get this intro music lower. And let's say hi. Ralph, welcome in. I've got a I've got a Dean Graham from Ralph we're gonna check out. So that's exciting. Let's just do it now. Let's just get right to it. Ah! Wrong button. This one's from Ralph. Ralph sent this via Dean Graham. Uh through Rainbow Tomatoes Garden. Thanks, Ralph. Hey, BB. Welcome in. The man, the myth, the legend. You are, Ralph. Ginger, welcome. Hot plate. Open road. Strange booze. This isn't my song. This is just epidemic stuff. These tins are circular, and that's a red flag. That means way you mar. Bindu, welcome in. That movie shaped my childhood dreams. Me too, dude. Oh, wow. Check that out. Dan thinks of everything, dude. We got two tunas. Is this because I said, is this because I was talking junk about tuna? Yukon Cornelius, welcome in. Thought Dean Graham was Instagram for sardines? No, dude. Dean Graham is where you go on RTG. Oh, yeah. And you can send people tins. If they, like, already have an account with, with RTG, you can, like, buy tins on behalf of other people. Oh, mama. I'm way off frame. Ralph, you didn't have to have to go this far, bro. 
This is like... One of these is like a $40 to hit, dude. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. Thank you, though. I'm, I'm going to appreciate every, every morsel. Did you produce this music? I did not. I did not. I will not take credit for this amazing track. This amazing album. You are looking healthy and happy this evening. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not feeling like it, but thank you. <laughs> cool. Peach, what up, dude? You know what, dude? I'm tempted to eat one of these just for the meme of it, but I really want to give these tins more respect than that. I really want to eat them like the most premium way. Like I want to do research. I want to read up how to how to absolutely kill these in the most premium way and I'm going to and I'm going to film it. This is going to these are going to be jabroni. We'll do one jabroni review with both tins. But I do have to eat something. I'm starving. Let's do another one of these. Thank you so much, Ralph. I really appreciate it. That's a, that's an incredible gift you're gonna get a dedicated jabroni video for your uh kindness um sometimes instead of a plate you can use a box to save uh to save on dishes love your shirt me too it's my favorite thank you I just thought these cans looked really good. I know they're gonna be good. Absolutely. These are gonna be crazy. Tuna can get crazy when you get pricey and these are pricey. Send me the link to $40 tin. I gotta try that sometime. We'll post it in the, in the uh, let's pull it up. Let's pull it up. How do I get my opera going? Let's get the C-cam out of here. Here we go. Rainbow Tomato Garden. And then we're going to go... We're going to go shop by brand. And then we're going to go to the G's or maybe it's the C's. Now it's the G's. Way you mar. And then from there, we'll sort by high to low. And then, yeah, dude. No way. Is this a 66? Which one is this? Okay, 48. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> That's high. That's a high price. That's incredible. Thank you, dude. Belly cut of high quality char grilled with holm oak and canned using the Arbenquina de Castilla de Canema <laughs> brand extra virgin olive oil. Well, that's awesome. I'm just so excited about that. That's going to be awesome. Now let's reduce the vibes. Let's bring it down. We'll get a real transition one day. Vibes reduced. And now we eat some Deans. Peruvian Harvest shouts out to Dr. Bob. Keith, I love the existential sardine artwork, or maybe it's too ex too existential. It is pretty existential. It's pretty incredible how far sardine graphic design goes. You know, it's just it's just fish. You know, let's relax. This isn't this is ridiculous. He's got a party hat on. And then this one's like, this reminds me of like the, uh, what's the thing where it's the guy who's like this? 
And there's like, um, it's like a Da Vinci thing. You know what I'm talking about. Here we go. I think Dr. Bob said that this would be my favorite one. And I also think... Wait, what is this? Oh, this is, this is mackerel, medallions, and Peruvian peppers and onion marinade. I think he said this would be the best one for me. Let's put that let's put that to the test, Dr. Bob. Ugh. It's a tough tin. Tough lid. Here we go. Cheers. Mama. They're really in there. I see it. I see why you would why you would eat this. Again, it's mackerel. And I expect it to be like eh, but I don't know what they're doing with their mackerel over here in Peruvian Harvest Fresh Catch because usually I don't like mackerel, but I'm I'm they're two for two on me with these. It's not my favorite thing in the world simply because of the red sauce. It's just not my my world. But it is high quality. It's like really good. If I was a red sauce guy, I think I would be all over this. Mackerel medallions in a traditional escabeche sauce, a delightful marinade of Peruvian chili peppers, onions, and unique spices. Yeah, dude, it's good. I highly recommend it. What was the other mackerel I had? Um, dang, I don't know. It was, it was, uh, hang on, I'll grab it. It was so good. It's the uh, mackerel fillets in Botija purple olive sauce. I had this one last week. This one knocked my socks right off. Knocked them clean off. You just had tomato mackerel on toast. See, that sounds good. Tomatoes, tomato tomato on toast you you got me i'll i'll concede that red sauce works with if there's a carbohydrate involved yeah man Peruvian harvest is amazing. Thanks again, Dr. Bob. What a treat. What a treat. So the content today is to play more friendly neighborhood. And we're going to do that right now. We're going to jump right in.
Here we go. We're in. And I'll go little. And I died the last time when we ended last week. I had just died. I took the liberty of re-getting back to where I was uh, over the over the week. So we don't have to we don't have to tread treaded ground. Let's get rid of that sand. Is the music too loud? I feel like it could be a bit too loud. Tomato soup and grilled cheese is goaded. Yeah, that's classic. I need a baguette on hand to dip. Also classic. I really wish they made oyster crackers that were the size of my hand. If they do already, I need to know. I don't think they do, but I'm interested. If you find something like that, I want to know. Do you ever worry about heavy metals? No, because sardines don't uh, really have them. Or at least that's my understanding. So now I got this crank and I don't know what to do with it. You may remember when we left off, I had this crank. And it says stage two. It's a weather-worn crank. It looks like it was used somewhere outside. So. Outside would be this spot, right? I think so. I think this is where we came in. I don't remember how to get out of here. I'm just going to wander. I'm a craft monster. <laughs> you give me a task and I'll give you a craft. I like yeah, honestly, I have no idea. I'm just going to go outside. I'm just going to work my way to the outdoors. <laughs> oh, scared me. Weirdo. This is where I just was. Are you going to crush some Deans tonight? Bro, I'm halfway... Well, probably not Deans. I'm halfway into a Mac tin that's going to probably tide me over. Music. Music! Outside. Which way to outside? This feels promising. Yeah, I recognize this. Melba toast with cream cheese and a Dean. What is Melba toast? So resilient. Just want this ammo here and I'll leave you alone. And now here we go. Heavy metals build up in predatory larger fish. That's my understanding, too. This isn't where I thought I was going to be. Yeah, I'm a little bit lost, but that's okay. We'll figure this out. Return of the Mac. I think this is... Here we go. Exit. All right, we're, we're on to something. Yep, we're outside. We've got a crank, and we need to figure out what the crank cranks. Also, it was daytime before. That's worth that's worth mentioning, I think. We can get rid of this thingy. To save some inventory space. What are the words to Return of the Mac? It's stuck in my head now, but I don't know any of the words. I just want to go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. This looks like a crank goes here. No. Nope. Oh, this looks like a crank goes here. This looks like a crankular object. Crankular in delivery. Crankular in design. Are we losing frames? Oh yeah, my resolution's too high. There we go. Did that, did that take? It did not take. 
1080 back. It's not taking. Do I hit enter? Turn your crank to Frank. How do I um, save those settings? It keeps going back. Um, am I crazy? Oh, the apply button. There's an apply button. 1920, 1080, apply. Now we don't lag anymore. There we go. May need some of my patented elbow grease to make that work. Now my reticle is a spinning... <laughs> spinning loading thing. I guess that's just like that now. There's no jumping button. Gotta painstakingly go all the way around. I'm just gonna follow these, these lights. They're obviously telling me something. Oh, here we go. This looks like a crank goes here. Yep, a crank definitely goes here. There we go. Whoops. Well, no getting back up that way. Interesting. Ray. Who's Ray? Figuring out UIs is half the fun of indie games? Tell me about it. Oh dear, oh my. You seem to be stranded in the basement. I am. How do I get out of here, Ricky? Oh, haven't a clue. Never come down here myself. Why? What's got your overalls in a knot? I'm trying to get to the roof. The roof? <laughs> What's so interesting about the roof? Down here's much more intriguingly musty. Unrelated. How do you feel about blood? He doesn't want me to go to the roof. What is it this time? Well, Ray, of course. He's the best sort of monster janitor. Because I'm gonna mess up his he's a satellite dish. With uh, organic maintenance, tends to pop out of pipes and clobber people with his wrench. Great. Are all of you puppets crazy? Well, Ray has always been a little grouchy, even before the shutdown. That's why they moved him down here. Only way out is by elevator, and he can't figure out how to use the buttons. Elevator. Got it. Oh, silly me. I forgot about the elevators. Really, Gordon, I wouldn't bother. The cables are probably rusted. I don't think they even run anymore. I'll take my chances. Wow, you're so courageous. That was delicious. Look, I gotta go. Wash my hair. Wow. Stupid. I guess I like mackerel now. So, um, he comes out of this thing. Ray comes, comes screaming out of, uh, sewer things. You know what? This game doesn't have a reticle. So this is actually kind of a hack that I have this loading thing here. So wait, I, I want to avoid the sewer drain things. Yeah, this is a hack. Totally hacking the game here. Hacking the system. That way to the stage. Is that where I want to go, though? Let's let's investigate this door. Oh, this was the uh, demo I played. I briefly played a demo to make sure this game worked. And I could not figure out what any of these things do. <laughs> so that's good. Yep. Yeah. Inspecting sockets. <clears throat> to all personnel, due to the construction of the new stages, this blast door has been locked using a punch card combination. Please insert the appropriate punch card to the three terminals to open the door. In the event that you have lost your punch card, this machine can be used to print replacements. Interesting. So we have to we have to print some replacement punch cards. Let's 
see what we get. Quick, quick Jurassic pack. They had, they have a big restore and back button, and the apply button is hidden amongst the options. Thank you. Velociraptor. Just a cute little guy. Immobile and invisible. Because if you sit totally still, he can't see you. Depending on who you are, this is either a Parasaurolophus or a Parasauralophus. Either terms are accepted. A long climb to freedom. The only way out is up the Brachiosaurus. Awakened by a friend, a Brachiosaurus. Or perhaps a Sara Poseidon. Hard to say, because I can't see his crest. Can't see his top of his head. Rex on a rampage. Because the, the electric fence turned off. Newman. BB shouts out. Thanks. Thanks for the, the gifted. These... These little uh, illustration cards are really cool. Number one bestseller, Jurassic Park. Oh, because it was based on a book. Okay. These are really cool cards, man. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Jurassic Park cards. So, none of this is working. Looks like it needs power. Because there's no power. I'm a, I'm a brilliant detective, in case you haven't noticed. Got some stuff. That looks like a tape gun, and I should be able to use that to tape down a thing. A critter. Oh yeah, the bean. Can't forget the bean. The tuna is asking if the grill party is here. What? This one is... Oh, dude, is this a rotten egg? Three beans in a row? Mmm. I think that's birthday cake. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty good. Thanks, BB. Okay. Basement map. Interesting. So there's a riddle. Yeah, Star Wars. That's what a good illustration card looks like. Not those janky, wonky kindergartner illustrations. Ashamed to admit you've never owned a Hawaiian shirt? I'm ashamed to admit that I have had Hawaiian shirts and I've never had the confidence to actually wear them. I just end up, they sit in my closet for weeks or months or years and then I throw them in the trash or I donate them. Oh boy. Why am I even doing this when I have a gun? Weirdos. I got my first Hawaiian shirt. Uh-oh. Are we lagging? I got a red... I got a red, um... A red box for a sec there. I got my first Hawaiian shirt for Hawaiian Shirt Fridays at work. Nice. Hey! Who's there? Somebody's pounding something. It's a little too dark to see. Yeah, I lost a little bit of, uh... I lost a little of my upload speed there for a sec. Hopefully that doesn't become a trend. Here we go. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, what a weirdo. 
Jeez, that gave me a scare. Jeez, that gave What's me a that? scare. Okay, this is that mechanism. This is a socket, and this is a socket. Huh. Looks like part of it's missing. Yeah, it looks like the front of the thing. Do I pull the front of the thing out of the thing? Why don't you just let me take this thing back to the thing? Some little mice, little puppet mice. What's he hiding? Oh, there's a duck. There's a little rubber duck. Nothing. Can't really do anything with this. Can't take it. So... What else is here? Where am I? Okay. I need to go maybe to the east basement. Let's see. This looks like a busy workshop room. There's got to be stuff here. There's got to be stuff to take. Here we go. Oh, it's a script. I don't want to read a script. Who am I? A thespian? Perhaps a Bermuda shorts Thursday should be a thing. What are Bermuda shorts? Is that just kind of... That sounds like a stretchy... Sort of a stretchy lounge pant. Because that's what I wear to work anyway. Every single day. Every day I'm chilling. I don't want to deal with you guys. I might tape them up. Oh, there's the guy. You see him? There he is. What do I do? That didn't really hurt him. So he's not going to let me go that way, basically. Okay, you can shoot him enough times. Go to the mall and buy a hat at Lids. I did that one time. I got a custom hat made and it was very embarrassing. It had my initials. And for some reason, he said, what do you want on the back? And I and I told him to put, stay cool, be cool. <laughs> and it was not cool. I was a laughing stock. They're like knee length shorts. That's my type of short. I like a five inch or, or a little more maybe uh, short. I feel like I should be able to take this and put it into the other thing. Obviously, they're intertwined in some way. But in what way are they intertwined? Is there is there a uh, a hint mechanism perhaps? All of these things do nothing. There is nothing happening. There needs we need power before any of these do anything. We need to go this way to the east basement, I think. But that's what this is. That's literally what I'm trying to do. Though I was under the impression they were more of a woman's short thing. Well, maybe I don't wear those every day. <laughs> I wear some, I wear stretchy shorts. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try. Here we go. I'm gonna. Try, all right. I know what to do. I know what to do. I'm going this way. I'm just gonna run right past these losers to conserve my ammo. Stay fresh, cheese bags. See, there he is. Just here to mess up my day. Waste my ammo. What a weird guy. What a weird dude. War is over. After 20 years of fighting, the city government has finally declared a complete withdrawal of troops from the northern continent. Very descriptive, the northern continent. 
called the War of Horrors. The conflict, which was mainly involved guerrilla confrontations in the rainforest, resulted in almost 100,000 casualties. My goodness. 1972, this must be uh, Vietnam. Right? That was 70s, right? I don't know. I shouldn't make these, these bold claims as though I know what I'm talking about. I certainly don't. Oddest dress code rule at the company I worked at was no extreme sideburns. Somebody, somebody made that rule. Somebody had such extreme sideburns that they were like, well, we can't just tell them outright to not have them. We got to make it a policy. The only real dress code at my job is no pajama pants. That's probably, I would say that that's a thing where I work, but honestly, I've seen some pretty questionable pants that could could be construed as a pajama pant. Like, uh, what are those pants that always have like elephants on them? And it's like a Indian, uh, like a Hindu almost pattern. And they're like the thinnest pants in the world. And they're like really big and jangly. People be wearing those. Oh boy. It's about to go down. This is like a chaos area. Yeah, this area is filled with chaos. Um, I, I'm tempted to tape this person. Yeah, see, I should have done it. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in and out. Puppets, Pirates Cove, a triumph for the family. Four out of five stars. As the My Friendly Neighborhood franchise grows, it was inevitable for Gerswald's precocious puppets. I'm popping peas profusely in the move to make the move to the big screen. Fortunately, their first outing is appealing to more than just the younger crowd. Everything from the sumptuous sets to the skintily. I can't. I, I'm, I'm just not. I just don't have the vocabulary for this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> But anyway, that was a, uh, I think that was a, su a subtle nod to Muppet Treasure Island, perhaps. I work at the pants store and we have to wear stretchy shorts. Okay. Jinko jeans? No, I'm not talking about Jinko jeans. I'm talking about like, <laughs> it's like you, you see them in like new age stores where they have like salt lamps. They're like, I don't know how to, I don't know. They're like uh, Hindu pants, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I work from home and get to wear pajamas all day. Must be nice. 90s baggy pants, never wore them. The hammer pants, I had those as a kid. Oh boy, he's gonna wake up. That was scary. Oh, we found that thing. Okay. Bro. That scared the crap out of me. I didn't think this game was ever going to scare me. But I just lost it on that. <clears throat> Dude, that got me. That got me good. I got to take a sip. That was serious. Uh, that was serious jump scare action. The chain over the handle. Well, you have tools, don't you? I know what you mean, but then you added jingly. <laughs> Did I say jingly? Maybe j to me jingly. I guess I I guess I should have said flowy. That would, that would make more sense. Flowy is more of more of what it was. I'm afraid. I don't know. I'm just gonna shoot him. I'm just afraid I'm gonna run out of ammo and be in a bind. I'm gonna tie her up. I got plenty of tape. I'll leave that guy there. He's he's busy. Okay. I'm gonna start checking the ceiling now for stuff to fall. Aladdin pants? That's um that's pretty close. 
That's potentially correct. I'm gonna search Hindu pants. This is literally what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is like spot on. People be wearing these to work. <laughs> And it's not my style, and I'm 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 happy for you. You know, do your thing. And I'm glad we have we work at a company that lets you wear stuff like this. But personally, I believe I've seen these these exact ones at work. Personally, I don't think I'd be comfortable. I think this is too flowy. This is too free. I need to I need to be a little bit contained. I need to be a, a little bit protected from the elements and from robots. You know. I just wouldn't feel safe. But uh, hey, you know, it's not all about my, my my preference. If that works for you, go for it. My stretchy shorts keep me jingly. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Your stretchy shorts keep you jingly. Where are we at? Let's let's stay. Let's keep an eye on our map because I feel like I'm gonna get lost easy. Dude, I keep looking over at these. These are beautiful. Yo, a shotgun. The novelist. Oh, it's another. It shoots letters. I'm not going to waste the bullets, but I really want to test it out. Let's do some quick cabinet diving. I like the Fallout 4 cabinet diving method where you don't even actually touch it. It just dumps into your pocket. Y'all see me just hiccup that burp? MC Hammer Pants, too legit to quit. Too legit to pay your taxes, more like. Too legit to open up a 401k, <laughs> more like. <laughs> Too close to something you would wear when you're chilling out at home. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm gonna leave that guy there. I don't know. I hate when there's more than one in a room and there's just like sensory overload. They're just saying everything and nothing at the same time. Let's get out of here. I'll take these over having to see two tight leggings stretching till their dying breath. That's <laughs> I don't I don't see that at work. So yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Oh boy, come on, this is getting scary now. It wasn't scary for the longest time. For like the first two hours, I wasn't scared at all. Is this Bard's Tale too? It's not. But you knew that. You knew it wasn't when you asked that. <laughs> What is Bard's Tale? I feel like I've seen that on Steam or something. Can I go in here? It says it's red. Yeah. So I think we have our thingamajig we need to operate the doohickey in the at the stage. Scale we? Hey there, kids! I live in your TV set. <laughs> Look at that weirdo, man, peeking through. Three dudes on screen. What? Where do I need to go? I gotta plot my route wisely. I'm going to stage two, so I have to take a right. I'm just gonna try to run by. No. No, I'm getting too cocky. I'm trying to hack it. Alright, I got this. I got this. I'm trying to conserve ammo. You can't see my ammo because it's behind my body, my human form. It's right here. I am so not good at this. It's right there. 21 bullets. Okay. I've got my th my thing, my metal doohickey, to implement into this doohickey. There we go. We have our power source. I don't know why I couldn't just pick that up earlier. Oh, great. Boss fight? It's a boss battle scenario. Um. 
What was that? That was too much. What's up with that? What the heck? Finally get to catch a stream. Thanks for all entertainment. Dad jokes loading. Welcome in, dude. This is a weird one. Let's bust a pack for dad jokes. This goes out to you, buddy. 30-year-old Jurassic Park pack. We're going to collect them all. Actually, 31 years. 31 years of age, this pack is. It's an RPG parody. Could be considered retro today. I think I honestly have Bard's Tale. But it's one of those things where it's like I, I bought like a thousand games and a bunch of different humble bundles and never played them. These, these like plasticky packs are pretty tough to get into. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Biohazard Tyrannosaurus Rex for some reason. Puzzle piece. Bart's Tale is the favorite video game of famous hip-hop artist Master P and his son Little Romeo. I hope that's true. I know it's not, but I want it to be. Duplicate. I read about this. Apparently, that was a glitch during playtesting that the developer liked and kept in. Interesting. It did look pretty glitchy. It looked a little bit unfinished. Raptor Den. You never want to go into a Raptor Den. Never, never, never. Rex versus the Raptors. The raging Tyrannosaurus. Rex smashes into the lobby and attacks both Raptors with primeval fury. In the spectacular, as the spectacular battle continues, a Jeep squeals to a halt in front of the building. Grant, Ellie, Tim, and Lex are rescued as the T-Rex rips the last Velociraptor in half. What a scene. This is what I was saying, hiding in the kitchen. That was terrifying. And they're like knocking over pans and stuff. George Swanson, welcome in. Bought my first Nuri's today. That's exciting. Easy prey. Raptor Hatchling, I'm hitting duplicates. This one, this card looks like it could use some more work. This one looks like a phone in job. Not the greatest in the world. Kind of some entry-level uh, Photoshop going on here. Wow, is that a Brachiosaurus or a Sara Poseidon? Brachiosaurus, I knew it. I was testing you. I had a neighbor in the 90s who always dressed like a wrestler with tights and sleeveless shirt, but to my knowledge, wasn't a wrestler. I love that. I love that about that guy. We have to go straight ahead. Luckily, that loser isn't there. Graphic design is my passion. That's yeah. That those are the vibes I get from that one. It's a little bit entry level. Inserted the power box mechanism. I may now use punch card technology. Okay. What does this mean? I now have a punch card. And I can put the punch card into this. Oh, I, I get it. I just cracked the code. This cat, man. Get out of here, dude. I just, I just cracked the code. So, in order to do this one, I need a three. And I have to look up at the thing and do the math to find out how to get to a three. Right? So, I want square, square, triangle for a three. And for a ten, I want... Square, square, circle. And then what's this one? Six, seven? How do you get to a seven? 
Oh. One of each for a seven. I hope I remembered all that. Little Romeo holds the world record for our fastest Bard's Tail speed run. That's cool. It was circle for six. Then plus two, then minus one. Dude, I cracked the code, I think. Oh, I already have a card. It won't let me. This card, this card. I want this card. And I want to insert it here. And then do this. I did it. Dude, I'm a whiz kid. I'm an absolute whiz kid. And this one's a 10. So we want two twos and a six. Six, two, two. Dude, I'm a whiz kid. Too easy. Nice riddle puppets. And then this one is a three, which is plus two, plus two, minus one. Dude, I'm a whiz kid. Heath can't wait to try them. World Market had them for five bucks, couldn't resist. Yeah, World Market is like where you want to go for nurries like pretty much period that's like the that's like the most cost effective uh nurry source i think I wonder how deep this goes okay this looks like a uh underdeveloped section of the studio Okay, but there's still puppets here, even still. Let's see if I can go to Bonk Town. Dang, dude, there's a lot of them. Soundstage, basement, boat. Well, I don't, what's even my goal anymore? I don't even know what I'm doing this for. Oh yeah, I'm trying to go to the roof. I need I need to find the elevator. Let's bonk this loser too. What if I bonk him down there? Then is he gone forever? No. Oh, I tried. Tried to bait him. To bonk him into the hole. This door is open, but then I will lose the fact that those guys are knocked out. Ooh! I thought maybe that wrench would be useful to me. What is this? What's going on here? Oh, this is the elevator. Okay. Come back come back here later. Let me get some health. Oh, I only have two left. I think unfortunately these guys are gonna have to wake up. Well let's see what we can do. Bonk that hole. Yeah, dude. Chill out. Crazy. Crazy, wonky weirdo. Go up the dirty old steps. So now all three of those guys are back alive. That, that, that functionality is pretty rough. The tape functionality. The tape. Uh, the difficulty method of selectively and strategically choosing who you want to not fight again. Let's 
save room. We got a save room, people. Bunch of nothing. I'm gonna get totally scared again. It's gonna be a dude and a thing in no time. So let's, um, I'll just eat, I'll eat a health potion. And then I'll save my token. But I'll save. Billy Bonka over here. And we got a letter to the editor. As the mother of a four-year-old who is devoted to my friendly neighborhood, uh, I am frightened by the tone of the morals on that show. Just yesterday, one of your characters said, You should always think of others before yourself, even when it's uncomfortable. But what if someone takes advantage of you for doing that? What if doing what's uncomfortable ends up exposing you to hurt and danger? Is it really a good idea to teach children to be so reckless with their own well-being? That's a pretty deep... Uh, that, that, that's, that's pretty real. That's a pretty real letter to the editor. Oh, what a beautiful animal. Come on. What's the problem? Do I want to focus all of a sudden? What if I change it to this one? I'll just come way down low. The Brachiosaur... Oh, it's just Brachiosaur. I got double music going. I think there's like a record player. Distracted by Lex. Yeah, because she like knocks over a spoon or something. Before the... Before the... Uh... Raptor finds her brother. Immobile and invisible again. A tour through time. See, this is another graphic design is my passion. I just feel like I could do better, and I'm not I'm not a graphic designer. This is great. This I love. This is like retro. This is like 90s uh, class photos, but with dinosaur drawings. The Raptor is in pursuit. Raptor Patrol. Man, these are cool. I got a bunch, too. Check it out. It wasn't a full box. It was only 25 of the 36 packs, but still, still cool. So save rooms have music, so I got to not... Open cards and save rooms. Mm. I wish I could zoom into the map. It's so tiny and wonky. Oh, great. A passed out loser gonna spook, spook magook me. You dingus. Get out of here. A million percent, I'm going to get scared in like two seconds. Without a doubt, something's going to happen. As soon as I pick up this key, all bets are off. To everyone, someone keeps taking the breakers that you use to open these doors, so I put them in those lock boxes around the basement. Here's a map of where they are in case you need to get through. Great. Data has been added to your map. Okay, we have two yellow X's now to pursue. Don't you dare get up. Don't have a yellow key, a yellow triangle key. Why do I keep trying even though I know I don't have it? Oh, here we go, the lockbox. What does this mean? It's the most vague note of all time. Okay, so we got one. The other one, I have to fight all the dudes again to get to. Or perhaps I can go straight. Perhaps the this way 
it will suffice. If you can draw, you can do all sorts of things. Grab your pencil and let's go on an adventure. Oh, what? There's steps missing. What the heck? This whole thing is, uh, questionable. That's what I'm talking about. Don't waste my ammo by being a bullet sponge. I believe through this door is the other thing. If I read my map correctly, yeah. Right around the bend here. Cool. Got my two thingamajigs. Supposedly there's a boat yonder way. But I need to... Where do I put these in? I actually don't even know where I take these. Okay, we got a boat. We found a boat. I, th I believe this is the fast travel. Uh, let's just do it. You know, I don't think I need to do it, but let's just do it. Let's just see what happens. Yeah, this is how you fast travel, basically. Cool. And now can I unlock this? Yeah, cool. Friggin' sweet, dude. Duct tape. I'll take it. So, do I need to be here for any reason? Oh, there's more. Yeah, I do need to be here. There's more fuses. Let's get some fuses. Things just got complex. Now it's like a multi-level scavenger hunt. I think I tied this person up, right? Yeah. So we can just run through here. And then the other, the next lockbox, I think is in here. What? This is the guy that was in the friggin' locker earlier. Or no, he fell out of the ceiling. You say dang? That's what I'm saying, dude. Dang. In the lockbox. Okay. One more. Uh, man, it's so far away. Jeez. This game's wild. It's Backtrack City. Still no diamond key. Bonk. And then... Dude, I'm gonna get lost. I wish I, I wish the map was just like on the, the right corner. And there's that creep in his friggin' hidey hole. And I go this way. The mail comes every day. So many bonks. Fix a hundred bonks. Dude. Friggin' nerds. Okay. The final, uh, thingy. The final, what, uh, what do we call it? What is it? Spark plug? Is that what we're after? I've got all the things. 
And now, where do those go? Is the question. Where do you use them? Do I know? Do, do any of us know where they are used? It's gotta be... It's gotta be here somewhere. Yeah, it's gotta be where I found that key originally. To East Basement, yeah. That's what I want. Down the weird cave again. And back to the weird basement. Where that dude who was laying down will one million percent be uh, back awake. Oh, Dr. Bob, welcome in. You missed it, dude. Oh no, I didn't eat the Ventrusca. I ate I ate the uh I ate some more fresh catch. I'm gonna save the Ventresca for a video. I had the mackerel uh medallions. But Dr. Bob Thank you so much. And I'm gonna get those. I'm gonna get you're gonna get some official I can't believe this guy doesn't get up. This this could be like such a jump scare. You're gonna get an official uh, jabroni video out of those. Here we go. Strange kind of breaker box. Um so now I have to look at my notes, maybe? Where's my notes? How do you open your notes? Flip? What do you mean flip? I can do a flip? Oh, check that out, I can flip. Which medallions smoked good? Better for a sandwich? I had the, um... I did the uh, Peruvian peppers and onion marinade, and they were slamming. Red sauce isn't my, it's not really my thing, but they were really good. Dude, where do you look at your notes? I got notes on top of notes. I have so many possible combinations and no notes to look at. Um... Yeah. We know that. Is this a- is this a glitch or something? I saved the notes, but the notes didn't do anything. Oh, it's this weird pile of garbage. No, it isn't. That's my shotgun bullets. Well... What does it all mean? Weird indie games, man. How do you... How do you survive? I'm just gonna pop them in. Nothing. I wish there was, like, an indicator light to be like, yeah, that was the right one. Oh. That kind of worked. Oh, boy. What is this? What's going on here? What kind of shenanigans are going on in here? Bolt cutters. I'll take them. There's no room in my toolbox. What if we, uh... What if we... Why do I have these weird glasses? 
Let's make some room, move some stuff around. Do I even need this anymore? I don't think so. There we go. This is a this is a weird evil room, dude. Somebody's somebody's a weirdo. I bet oh, it's it's the human. What's the human's name? He's in here like making clay dudes. Bolt cutters. Yes. Now we have another teleport zone. I want to get into this room. Let's do the other weird room and then we'll call it a day on this game. I want to open a turtle pack or two. This is totally just guessing. This is just guesswork. fun <laughs> this is good content this is so much fun why did that door open because now I've taken the fuse back out and it is still open I'm just gonna google it dude this is like bananas this is ham banana sandwich I'm going to Google my friendly neighborhood um what is this called fuses fuse box good content through the sheer personality and moxie left door puzzle first result steam community I've tried every single full set combo in the game. I tried with Clover, Diamond, Heart, and Spade first in every possible combination. I wasted away more human hours than I should have. And I can tell you, unless you only put one to three of them in and not the full four, there is not a single combination that gives you the unlocked door. The only trigger I got is for the right door opening. I wish I know the real way to open the damn door besides flying through. Only the right door is available in the demo, but if you go into the camera mode, you can fly around and see some neat things. I'm not playing the demo. I found a fuse later in the game with a star on it and the correct code with it as well. Oh, so this isn't even the right... I'm not even supposed to get in there. I'm not even supposed to get in there. There's another, there's another fuse. So that's gonna stay locked. How could I, how could I possibly know that? I would have just, I would have just tried forever. I would have tried for hours. I'm glad I Googled it. I'm glad I have no uh, integrity. Cool, man. That was that was my friendly neighborhood. For, oh, unlocks. What's going on in the unlocks department? It won't open. Fantastic. I glitched the system. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me I ruined everything. Here we go. Let's do three turtles packs. And let's do one more Jurassic Park pack. And we'll bid adieu. Because my kids are being wild. And I have to go help out. Come on. These things don't open well. These are a little too wonky. These plastic wraps are no good. 
Oh, we didn't, um, we didn't even do a thumbnail. Well, let's, let's put the turtle packs in the background. Let's do some more. Here we go. Turtle packs. And then we'll find a cool card. Here we go. Graphic design is my life. Velociraptor. Whoa. Are any of these thumbnails? good enough. I'm sure one of those will work. Velociraptor. Oh, this is a sticker. This is a peeling stick. Collect all ten cards of Puzzle A. Here is what your completed red border picture will look like. Okay. Brachiosaurus. Been there, done that. These are, we're actually getting a lot of duplicates with this set so far. Yep, had that one. Yep. Immobile and invisible. Yep. Tore through time. We had this whole pack already. This whole pack was duplicates. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. That was a good thumbnail. Okay. I'm glad I'm glad it worked out. Trying to simplify my life a little bit by instead of artistically putting a thumbnail together, I just act one out, you know? Cause thumbnails are a pain, dude. Oh, this is a t this is a T-Rex sticker, but it's also a puzzle piece. Why can't we focus anymore? We were focusing so well earlier. That's why, camera, camera went to sleep. A hungry stare. Has anyone seen the video where someone replaced the T-Rex with their cat? John Hammond. What is this? Oh, it goes this way. Uh, I don't like that one. That one, the, the positioning of the body is just a little bit weird. It's a little bit hard to read. Tim and the Raptors. There's like 50 cards of this scene. Oh, yeah. Iconic. Distracting the beast. Hammond's dream. Ooh. This is easily the worst one. That's so ugly. That's like the worst job anyone's ever rendered an image out of, the, out of a, a film screenshot. That's terrible. But I love it for that reason. I like the ugliness of it. That was like, uh... What was that? Six packs? Six packs of, of Jurassic Park. Down the hatch. And then just a couple of turtle packs, just because... I'm really excited to collect them all on these. Tatsu. Saki on a rampage, that's a duplicate. Danny is nabbed. That's a dupe. Keith, thanks for coming in, man. Thanks for hanging out. Dr. Bob, Ginger, of course. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. This one was a little slow, and that's okay. They're going to be slow sometimes, but thanks for hanging out throughout the whole thing. It means a lot. Subway Assault. Awesome scene, but it's a duplicate. Are these like dirty or is that like printing errors? Does that look like a printing error? I think so. It doesn't have any texture. I don't think it's dirt. Underground heroes. I'm getting duplicates. It'll never work. Yeah, dude, we're in dupe city. Always a pleasure, Keith. Me too, buddy. 
thank you, thank you. Smudged ink, yeah, I think it's just a printing error. These urns are a little bit bowed. These packs didn't really survive the last 30 years quite as well as the others. Here we go. I think that's new. I don't think I have this one yet. April holding the sigh. Oh yeah. And remember, no anchovies. You put anchovies on that thing and you're in big trouble. One dangerous dude, that's new. That's a pretty terrible screenshot, but I kind of love it for that. Yeah, I'd actually, I would put that on my wall if I had a poster of that, that'd be great. Let's split. This is just a random image. This is just totally random. Whoops, okay, so this pack is gas. This pack is all stuff we don't have yet. He loves being a turtle. April's pad. Yeah, dude, this whole this whole pack is gas. Back from Oblivion. Dupesville, Duperton. No way. Donatello, the courage of April. This this pack was pure gas. I don't think there were any duplicates in this. That's awesome. That, I'm gonna set that aside, cause that's like, that's going right in the book. I, let me show you my book. I got this uh, suede book, green suede book for my turtle collection. We're going, we're num we're going through the whole set. Ordered out, numbered out. We're going to do the same thing for Jurassic Park, Indiana Jones. What else we got? Uh, Adam's Family, you name it. We're taking a long, luxurious journey together. This is the last pack. And then I got to run upstairs and help out. Come on, gas. Let's give me some gas. Interesting. A little informational card. Oh, okay. It was backwards. That's weird. Does that happen commonly? You get a totally backwards car card. Master of Plunder. I think that's new. Thank you, my children. I think that's new too. Wow. Are we gassing up again? Watch out behind you. That's new. Going to send another package of Deans from Canada, but less exciting stuff, more normal. Hey, I'm here for it, buddy. Whatever you got, I'm, I'm game, I'm eating it. Startled by Splinter, yeah, dude, this is pure gas again. Coming up in the world. I don't think we have any of these. Bathtub Vigil. That was a, this, this was a, uh, an emotional scene because they weren't sure if Raph was gonna get back up. Utterly outnumbered. That's cool. That's a cool shot. I wonder how they, maybe they just had a taller building to stand on to take that shot. But I like to think that they had like a helicopter to do it. Oh, cool. These are the uh, original guys that wrote Turtles, I think. I know this guy was an owner. I remember him from, um, the Toys That Made Us, the documentary on Netflix. That was a really cool documentary. There's a whole episode about turtles. And remember, no anchovies. Yeah, dude. That was a gas pack, too. I'm going to set that one aside, too. Jabronis, thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me. I think we're probably, like, halfway done with that game. I'd like to jump in midweek, maybe, for just a taste. Maybe we can knock it out a little faster if we do that. But either, either way, it's a cool game. I'm having fun with it. I hope you guys are, too. <clears throat> and uh, thank you for watching. Thank you so much. And thank you for being a jabroni. 
BB, thanks for stopping by. Ginger, Bob, Keith. We had, let's see, we had Porter. We had Les. We had Slipper House Extra Extra with the with the strong, coming in hard and strong with some facts you never knew. George Swanson, welcome. Thanks for stopping in. Open Road. Dad Jokes Loading. Strange Booze. Love you guys, Monk. A Aziel123, Peach. Yukon Cornelius, love ya. Love ya. Thanks for coming in. Later, Gators. Bindu, always a pleasure. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Love you.